Hello everyone, my name is Johnny M and this is Farming Simulator 17 Time Lapse. In the last episode, as usual, we brought some logs to the market, we feed some cows and some sheep, and uh, we seeded and then uh, uh, mowed our grass and made some uh, grass bales and delivered some of them to our farm. And right now, as you can see, we uh, are going to deliver the other ones. As you saw a few seconds back, we now have a placeable a mix feeder, which means that we don't have to manually load the bales uh, into the uh, trailer feed mixer. So uh, the feeding of cows process uh, should now be uh, much much easier and faster and less tedious than it was before. Yeah, you just saw that we have a big big batch of wool. It is obviously because we haven't a great demand of wool for quite some time. And to be honest, I'm eagerly awaiting it. I assume we have wool for at least 800,000 euros, if not 1 million. So when we finally will have it, we'll make some decent, decent money. Uh, we have some straw bales, which we have to feed uh, manually with the telehandler. In the near future, when we will use uh, solely the, uh, the wagon loader, we won't have to deal with the bales. Again, cleaning the wool at the wool place. Even though we upgraded our equipment in general, but the, this trailer has actually, as I mentioned before, uh, less volume than the feed mixer that we used uh, before it. Yeah, but also it's tethered to a truck right now, so it's still faster to deliver uh, the food to the cows. This um, cow feed mixer has um, 100 liters for each uh, type of input <coughs> and 150,000 liters for the output. Okay, so as you can see, we now have just one less row of trees that we have to process. And after that, we, as I promised, will be able to sell this vehicle. 
because I guess we had enough forestry uh, gameplay up to this point for this season and we're gonna need the money that we'll get for this vehicle for our other things like um, purchasing fields which is now the gold the gold Yeah, and the maintenance of this cutter is also uh, quite big. So I was thinking that uh, in order to not spend money on this vehicle and compensate for the expenses to main for maintenance, you have to uh, cut and sell at least one tree each day. Because the maintenance initially is about 2000 and then it grows up to three or four thousand and one tree I guess at, uh, at the highest difficulty gives you something between four and five thousand uh, euros that is if you cut the tree in uh, eight meters pieces if you cut it in smaller pieces then you will get incrementally uh, less and less while if you were to chop it in uh, wood chips, I guess the payout uh, it's the same. Again, one of those trees that just doesn't want to be cut. It. Come on. I would have liked to play with wood chips, but only if we would have a compelling uh, wood crusher. Because those that are in game are pretty bad. And even a lot of mods that people make are still not quite yet there. Or maybe I'm wrong, so please do comment. And let me know uh, for a mod or a set of mods that uh, does improve sin significantly the wood chipping. I think in previous version, um, as I said, the tree trunks used to rot and disappear. I don't know, maybe it's just this map, but up until now, even the first batch of trees that I cut at the beginning of this uh, season uh, is still there. The tree trunks are still there. Fortunately, they don't seem to slow down the loading of the map because it used to be in FS15. Uh, the more uh, tree trumps you had on your map, uh, the slower your map will load. So um, I would use uh, the in-game uh, tree, tree trump cutter. And even then, at least some of the trumps uh, weren't disappear. So visually they weren't there. 
but if you looked uh, in the save file you would see that tree trunks are, are there so I used to manually delete them from there okay so all the trees are cut so what we do now is we will return the vehicle to the store but not before cleaning the wool Yeah, this vehicle is so slow that I assume uh, you won't see such a vehicle on the roads on its wheels. I assume it is uh, moved with uh, trailers. Okay, so we sold it. And I was looking what to do next on our farm. I guess we will feed some mixed ratio. some water and deliver it to the animals. One load was not enough to fill up the tank of ships. And it's morning again. I assume this load should be enough. Almost. So we had some straw in our storage system, which will now fit to the cows.
uh, the price of the wool is very low it's in the red right now Loading some more bales into our mixer. And off we go to the next load of grass bales which we have laying on the field that's ridiculous look how much wool we have So it looks like we finally have a great demand for wool, not the best price, less than 5000, but if we gonna wait for some more, then we'll have too much wool. Okay, so let's pay attention, now we have one million and seven hundred forty three thousand of euros let's see how much we will make from this trade definitely need to buy another trailer or to use the one that I use for bales to, to deliver the wool faster so from one load we got 128,000 and that's while one of the pallets wasn't full 
So I guess with a full load we should get around uh, 130,000. Apologize for my noisy neighbors. So it looks like we already made half a million at this point. Eight hundred thousands already. So I think definitely we'll make at least one million. So yes, uh, ships are quite profitable for the amount of work that you do for them. I guess cows, it's a lot more work. And pigs are the most... Uh, tedious. Oh, 
Of course, standing for animals in real life is a lot, lot harder. The ships, for example, you have to cut the wool from them. I guess it's called shearing, which is also um, a demanding process, to, to put it this way. Uh, for cows, it's even harder because if ships you shear them once or twice a year, the cows you have to milk them twice each day so of course uh, no nowadays it's it's done automatically but still still it requires manpower and equipment and investment yeah and if your equip equipment broke uh, you risk losing um, the milk for the rest of the season because, because if a cow is not milked just like any other female animal it will lose the, the milk so there is risk there is investment there is a lot of work it's only in the games uh, which it's uh, it's easy and it's easy and very enjoyable Okay, so the last batch of wool. And it looks like we will make uh, a million and three hundred thousand in total. Almost. Almost a million and three hundred thousand. Yeah, it's uh, our our biggest uh, sell up to this point. Now we should decide what we'll do with the money. Of course, the intention is to buy the next field, which is about uh, about three millions, a little bit more. But also, if you, we buy the field, we need some equipment to work it. And definitely we have to have a reason why to buy a new field. Because up to this point, uh, the small field that we have, uh, it's, it still suffices us to uh, feed our animals. Yeah, because I um, forgot to put Lilies to work, a lot of, fo of food have spilled. Yeah, and I, I decided to equip this um, trailer with a back attacher and also buy a second one so that next time we have a great demand we'll be able to deliver uh, the wool uh, twice as fast I should have done it before the sell off of all the wool because it took us, I don't know, about eight trips. It would have taken us four if we had the dual trailer set up. Yeah, and I decided since I'm here, why not load the rest of the bales? Why coming home empty? <laughs> yeah, and I and I thought to the oh okay, so I found the solution. 
because you can you cannot load two types of uh, bales round and square on the same trailer but I had two trailers so I loaded one type of one trailer and the second on the other trailer and it looks like it looks like uh, with this our episode is almost finished as usual if you have thoughts please leave them in the comment section if you want to say something uh, definitely subscribe like share and please please come back for the next episode of farming simulator or probably other games uh, see you next time bye bye